Hello and good morning. I am Jasmine Ara Begum. I welcome you to my math class. In this video, I am going to talk about order of operations. So first, uh, see what is the or, what does it mean by order of operations? The order of operations tells us how to do a math problem with more than one operation in correct order. So we know there are many operations, addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, parenthesis, exponent. In this video, we will talk about it, which operation we have to do first and the next and the next. So it is easier if you remember this. P PEM does, or in uh, a sentence you can remember it like, like, please excuse my dear aunt Sally. P stands for parenthesis, then exponent, then multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So we have to follow this order. First, if we have all the things in one problem, then we are supposed to do parenthesis first. So when we get rid of the parenthesis, then it will be multiplication. Then exponent, then multiplication, and division, addition, and subtraction. But if we have multiplication and division in the same step next to each other, then we have to go from left to the right. Even though here we can see multiplication appears before division, but in actual case, if we see the division comes before multiplication in the problem, so division comes first from the left. So you have to do division first, then multiplication. I will in the next slide I will show with example. Same thing happens with addition and subtraction. When you have addition and subtraction in the same step next to each other, you go from the left to the right, meaning you do the left operation first and proceed. Here is the example 24 divided by 3 times 4. According to the PEMDAS, the multiplication comes before division. But as I have mentioned in the previous slide that if you have both the multiplication and division in the same problem next to each other, you have to go from left to the right. So we have to do division first before multiplication. If, even though M comes first years, remember this. So we have to do division first. So 24 divided by 3 is 8 and 8 times 4 is 32. I will show you this problem by doing multiplication first, you will see. So if you do multiplication first, then it will be 24 divided by 12. The answer is 2. See, the answer is different and this is wrong. So in short, if you have multiplication and division in the same step next to each other, you have to go from left to the right. Go Do the left operation first. Whichever is comes first, like either division or multiplication, then do the next one. Here is another example where we have negative at the beginning of the question. So 18 minus 15, most of the students will just subtract 18, take away 15, but that is wrong. You have to again follow these rules. You don't have parentheses here no exponent here. We have multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So here in this problem, we have multiplication, division, and subtraction. But again, we have to, we have multiplication and division next to each other. We have to do the left operation first, which is 15 divided by 3. So in this case, we will get 18 minus 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 2. Next, we are going to do multiplication look here the subtraction comes last so we have to do multiplication then subtract 18 minus 10 equal to 8 sometimes you will see that people are doing from left to the right without following the rule so if in this case i am doing this to show you how it is wrong so 18 minus 15 is 3 divided by 3 times 2 and 3 divided by 3 is 1 times 2 is 2 this, this answer is wrong actually because you are not following this rule. So if you have 
all the operations, you have to always follow these rules. So in this case, you have to do division, then multiplication, then subtraction. Here is another example where we have exponent. So according to the rule, first parenthesis, we don't have parenthesis, but we have exponent. So before doing anything else, we have to do exponent first. So if you do it, 25 minus 5 times 3 plus 6 times 2 times 2 is 4. In the next step, we are going to do multiplication. And then these multiplications are separated by a plus sign, so it will not change anything. So just do both of the multiplications in the same time at the same time. So 25 minus 15 plus 24. Now we have to go from left to the right, meaning we have to do 25 minus 15, which is 10, plus 24 is 34. Or when it is addition and subtraction, you can do one more thing. You can add all the positive numbers and all the negative numbers and then do subtraction. That's what I did here. Here we have two positive numbers, 25 and 24. So I added them to get 49 and minus 15. So 49 minus 15 is 34. If you have more than one negative numbers, as many as negative numbers you have, you can add all of them and keep the minus sign before that and add all the positive number. That is easier way than doing from left to the right. But it's up to you, whichever way you feel comfortable, you are free to do that. In this problem, we have exponent and parenthesis both. both to I want to show you that how this PEMDAS works. So in this case, we have to do parenthesis and remove the parenthesis first. So I keep everything as it is, bring everything down, only add nine and one. Nine plus one is 10. And remember, when you remove the parenthesis, then it is multiplication with the outer outside number. So that five times 10. Now we have to do exponent. So two times two times two is eight. So the answer is three plus eight minus five times 10. Now following this, we have to do multiplication, which is five times 10. Five times 10 is 50. So we are going to do next step from left to the right. Three plus eight is 11 minus 50. And when we are subtracting, actually this is a positive number is a smaller and negative number is bigger. So the answer will be negative and we are subtracting 50 minus 11, which is 39. So if you want to know how to do it, I have another video on how to add or subtract the signed numbers and multiplication division, everything, signed numbers operation. I will give the link with this video. So this is another example. You have two parentheses and exponents. So we have to deal with them separately. So we get rid of this parenthesis by doing this operation and get rid of this set of parentheses by doing th this operation. And then in the next step, we'll do exponent. So negative four plus three is negative one and keep the square and this is negative two square. So negative one times negative one is one and negative two times negative two is four. So four plus one is five. Here is another example. Sometimes you will encounter some problems like this, which is called rational expression. So here, before we do anything else, we have to do top portion and bottom portion separately to get only one number on the top and one number in the bottom so that we can divide them. So here, this is simple, 15 plus nine, is 24 and 32 minus 20 is 12. So 24 divided by 12 equal to two. That's the answer. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share my videos. Thank you all.